wolf pack and we're not going to stop fighting and we're not going to stop looking for her. I'm not going to stop until I find my daughter. BC7's Adrian Ochoa is live in the studio with the latest on the investigation. Adrian. Eric, this is 30-year-old Lynette Martinez. It's been five days since anyone has heard from her. Now, Lynette is well-known in the wrestling community here in El Paso, where she's known as the She-Hulk. But aside from being a pro wrestler, Lynette is also a mother and a daughter. I spoke with Lynette's mother earlier today. We're living our worst nightmare right now. Me as a mother, I'm living my worst nightmare right now. Rosie Galvan is in search of answers. Her daughter, Lynette Martinez, left El Paso Friday to attend a UFC event in San Antonio. She was staying at a friend's house and planned to return to El Paso Sunday. That friend told police the last time she spoke with Lynette was over the phone Saturday night. Lynette told her a group of friends were taking her back to the friend's house. She never returned. No one knows who Lynette was hanging out with in San Antonio. But I know that there is somebody out there that knows something, even maybe in the El Paso area before she left. She had to have spoken to somebody. A missing persons report was filed with the Bear County Sheriff's Office. Then on Monday, the friend received a call from Lynette's cell phone. An unknown male was on the other end and quickly hung up. Authorities traced that call to Austin. Unfortunately, they were unsuccessful in locating the phone or finding my daughter. So now we know that there's definitely something wrong and there's an unknown male that has her phone. I actually did a story about Lynette back in 2015. She was auditioning for a WWE reality show. At the time, she spoke about wanting to make her two young children proud. I tell them that I'm a wrestler. They get excited. You know, they they always think that I'm one of the girls on TV and they think that's me. Lynette is now a mother of three and it's been tough for Rosie to explain to them where their mother is. Her children are starting to ask for her now, and I need her to please, I need anybody that can help us to just come forward with anything. The El Paso wrestling community is also stepping up. Local wrestlers have shared her photo all over social media. Hector Rincon was one of Lynette's wrestling trainers. When one of us, when of ours gets, uh, gets hurt or we are uh, in the need of help, we all come together. The fact that they're now actively searching and they're involved, I love them all, you know, and I'm so grateful. I just want you to know, Lynette, that we are fighting for you and we're looking for you and we're not going to stop until we find you. You have to know that we are looking for you and I need you to continue to fight to find your way back home. El Paso police are also assisting in the investigation. If you have any information, you can call EPPD or the Bear County Sheriff's Office, the number on your screen right there at 210-335-6000. Hopefully praying for a safe return from Lynette. Absolutely. An El Paso woman making a call to people in San Antonio, Austin, anywhere she can think of in her search for clues in her daughter's whereabouts. This is the photo of Lynette Martinez. Right now, the 30-year-old woman is a well-known wrestler. Her family says that she usually travels alone for events, but here's the thing. She always returns home to her two young children. The night team's Patty Santos talks to the family about why she was in San Antonio last Saturday night. <laughs> This is Lynette Martinez walking out of a home in the Lucky Ranch neighborhood in West Bear County Saturday night. She had gotten invited to either a special event or a party where she was going to be meeting somebody that was going to be introducing her to one of the owners of the UFC. And they were giving her these special tickets. I don't know, ringside or something. Martinez walked out of the frame never to be seen again. But her mother says a friend heard from Martinez one last time when she called hours later to say she was on her way back. Uh, she didn't state who she was with, but she did say that she had a right that they were taking her to back to the house, um, that they were going to be dropping her off. Her mother, Rosie Galvan, doesn't know if she ever made it to the AT&T Center for the fight that night. Martinez's phone, she says, went silent. Bear County Sheriff investigators took a report for a missing person Sunday night. But her mother says Martinez's phone was used in the Austin area two days later before going silent again. The 30-year-old is a wrestler. 14,000 people like her fan page, so her family hopes someone recognized her that night. 
if anybody spoke to her before she traveled, if anybody carpooled with her, if they were meeting her out there, any kind of a clue as far as if she spoke with them as far as who she was meeting out there. Her three children are holding on to hope. She has to know that we're fighting for her. We are fighting for her and we're doing everything and we're using every outlet possible to to bring her back home. Martinez was last seen wearing a red dress, black boots. She's about uh, 5'2 in height and 120 pounds. Now, she has purple and black hair, but she might have been wearing a wig that night. If you have any information that can help Bear County Sheriff investigators figure out where she is or what happened to her, call 210-335-6000. Steve, Stephania.